Evening guys, I uh, hope you're doing really really well in these uh, tough times with the lockdown. Um, I just thought I'd put a little video together really to show you a couple of items that I use on the beach when I'm sea fishing. Um, the first one I'm going to tell you about is called a trace bar. So, when you've got your tripod up, um, a lot of the time it's a pain in the backside to have your traces or your rigs hanging down um, and not actually have them to hand to quick change them over. Um, so the idea is, is that you use one of these. Now this is made by Ian Goltz, okay? As you can see there, it's got a clip one that side and one the other side. And what you do, you clip it to the tripod legs, like so. And then these little notches here, you can slide the line in between each one and then hang your rig down so that it stops on the swivel. And then that means then that they're just hanging freely on your tripod and you can quickly change them over to a different rig while you're baiting up another for example. It's a really really good bit of kit. I don't think they're too much really. I think they're probably between sort of seven and ten pounds off of eBay or something like that. And um, the good useful thing is as well when you want to put it away in your tackle box you just literally pull it in a half like that and it just folds away nicely. So that was the first thing. The second thing is um, this is called a, uh, a Gemini baiting tool. Um, it's sort of shaped like an M at the top. And the reason for this is because it's spring loaded then between the prongs, like so. And the idea is, is that you put a fish bait all the way through the middle on one side and then like squid or sand dill, etc, etc on the other side through the middle. You then close them together and then you get your bait elastic and then bind it round so that it gives a very well, very well presented bait. Um, then you can pull it off and um, sort of wrap it round your hook so that it's nice and tidy. Um, one of the main reasons for doing it, to be honest with you, is not just because of bait presentation towards the fish, but it also helps with your casting. Um, if it's nice and streamlined, it will certainly get you out further with your casting. So that's the, the next thing. Um, the other thing is I was going to talk to you about was um, a pistol grip disgorger. Um, now the reason I use one of these is because um, I really, really don't like unhooking a deep hook fish. Um, I believe that the mouth is sort of, you know, it's easy to get a hook out when it's just in its, in its lip or, you know, just inside the mouth. But when they're sort of deep hooked, you want to be able to take that hook out of the fish um, quite easily without hurting the fish. Um, so the idea is, is you pull this and you can see that the, the uh, tip there closes up and you can pinch the hook, and twist it and pull it out. Um, I, I recommend buying one of these. Um, I mean, if you're fishing for rays, for example, you don't want to get your fingers anywhere near those mouths. I mean, that is a powerful mouth. I mean, they're designed <laughs> um, to, to crush crabs and, you know, like crab shells. I mean, they're, they're tough. They're tough. Um, and you would certainly know about it if you've got your finger bitten. Um, yeah, they're, they're made by Daiwa. Um, and you can pick them up for about £12, um, but definitely a tool I wouldn't want to be without. I'll take this on every fishing trip now. So, yeah, that's it from me for today. I uh, hope you're all doing okay. Like I said before, 
Vi må spænge sig.